Hello guys, Skid here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy Weekends with Final Fantasy VII. Last time we left off, we just finished going to a Gungaga, and now we're going to continue on over this way. We're going to head over to a little place known as... Well, let me fight this battle first, apparently. Let me show you what Death Blow does. I don't think I showed you guys that last in the last uh, episode. But the place we're heading is a place called Cosmo Canyon. Uh, I think I'm gonna run through this battle. Alright, I need to heal. Um, hold on. Should we use Tifa's Cure? There we go. Alright, so... Oh, these stupid penguin things. I hate these guys. Ooh, Cloud Limit Break. Awesome. Ah, perfect. Bam! And then that splits like that. Awesome. Ow. That Rage Bomber move actually hurts a lot. Yeah! So that was Death Blow. That's what happens when you get a successful hit off of it, uh, with it. Especially like a, a critical hit. It misses a lot, though, so I usually don't use it uh, very often. But hey, there's cover materia. Level up. That's pretty nice. What did that do for it? I don't remember. It's level 2, finally. So now it's cover uh, is plus 40%, vitality plus 1. That's not bad. I uh, believe, yep, yeah, right over here. This is Cosmo Canyon. Hold on. I'm going to save here. Just in case. I'm gonna get out and go into this place. Oh, the music! Already loving it. Oh, hey, Nanaki. I am home. It is I, Nanaki. You're, hey, Nanaki, you're safe. Now, the funny thing here is, you know, he, when you originally get him, his name is... Ooh, that sounds so good. His name is Red13, and if you just kept him Red13, when he gets here, he says himself, he says, uh, it is I, Nanaki. That is, yes, that is actually his real name, is Nanaki. Come and say hello to Buchenhagen. And now they're like, Nanaki? Who's Nanaki, even though he's been called Nanaki the entire time? Welcome to Crawlsburg Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? No, let's, let's, let's ask about it. Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of planet life. And the bear's like, Whoa! <laughs> I always wanted to come here! Nga! Sorry, it's full now, so I can't let you enter. How sad. And the bear's like, No! They helped me when I was on the road. Please let them in. Oh, is that so? You helped our Nanaki? Please, come in. Now, watch this. Who's Nanaki? See, even though he's been called Nanaki, they still ask. Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. So, yeah. That's the reason why I name him Nanaki, is because that's his actual name. Nanaki or Nanaki, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, yes, I have. Alright, so let's go visit some of the stores real quick, I believe, over here. Now, actually, I don't... Hmm. Did I visit... I don't remember if I visited all the, uh, newsletters. There's the, uh, these Turtles Paradise newsletters that I've been trying to follow and, and visit throughout the game, and I don't remember if I visited the one in, uh, Gold Saucer. 
I don't think I did, but whatever. Please stop short by Turtles Paradise. So that's another one, Red. Oh man, the music here is so good. Looking for anything in particular? I am! Let me see what you got. You got potions, you got high potions, and Phoenix Downs, and nothing really that I need. Hold on. Uh, right. Okay. So just, alright, down we go. So that's all over there. There's nothing up that ladder there, I don't believe. Um, the, the store that I really wanted to... Oh, there's... Thanaki. This is, here's where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe was protectors of those who appreciated this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father? Yes, my father was a wastrel, so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. Aw, oh, I guess Nanaki will no longer be with us and our team. Nanaki, you're home. Come in, Grandpa. Oh, that's right. He was talking about his grandpa way back in Midgar when we got caught and put in the the uh, prison. Good timing. Let's take a breather. I got stuff I want to find out, too. All right, Barrett. See you later, man. All right, so the store I want to visit. There's actually two Turtles Paradise newsletters in this place. See, here's the other one. <laughs> I like it. So, um, yes, we're going to talk to this chick. She is the weapon shop. And there's the Butterfly Edge, the Tiger Fang, the Heavy Vulcan. Now these are some pretty good weapons, uh, if I remember. But I'm not gonna buy. I'm not gonna buy the Butterfly Edge, and I don't think I'm gonna buy the Heavy Vulcan because uh, I think Cloud and Barrett are about to get a weapon in a, in a while. Not not soon, but uh, like a little bit after Cosmic Canyon, I think they'll get a, uh, some better weapons. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that. And then, uh, oh yes, silver armlets, of course. I need to equip Barrett with one of those. Um, I I will get the Tiger Fang. Yeah, I'll go ahead and buy the Tiger Fang um, for Tifa. Oh, I don't right. Shoot. Okay. Well, I can't do anything. Uh, with all that stuff yet, but that's okay. I believe Barrett's in here. Yeah, here's Barrett. Oh, this is... This, I like this part, because he... Barrett's, like, all knowledgeable here. Uh, there was this guy who studied planetary life here. He couldn't take things the way they were, so he went to Midgar to form Avalanche. Want to hear more? Yeah, absolutely. Guess you could say this is where Avalanche was born. I always wanted to come here, and finally, I made it. A lot's happened. I am then... And then, I don't know what's going to happen, now that there's no avalanche. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm, lots of things have happened. Where did I put it? Oh, it's around here somewhere. Alright. Alright, sorry, Barrett. I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to strike a... Like a... A bad chord there. It's just... It seemed... You know, you just seemed like you were really interested in learning about... Cosmo Canyon, so... Alright. It's done here. I think there's a couple of shops down this way. Yeah, here's a shop. Talk to this guy and he's asleep. Num yon, sir, you forgot your change. And then you can talk to him again. Yes, I'm coming. Are you here to shop? Yes. Wah! <laughs> Alright, so he has... Ah, oh, yes. He has some HP plus and MP plus materia. Now that is some stuff that would be good to l start leveling up now, actually. I will buy one... HP plus. Uh, yeah, I'll buy one HP plus, and I'm gonna equip it. Oh, not equip. I will materia it to. I don't know where I want it. Um, I don't. I haven't been using bio that often. Well, yeah, I haven't been using bio that often. So I'm gonna put um, HP plus here. And I'm gonna put cover here. Yeah, that's that'll be good. Now HP plus when I it's right now it's max HP up plus ten percent, but when you start leveling up it'll get better and better. 
So that'll be a nice materia to have for in-game. And I'll be buying more and stuff and leveling them up and all that, so... Uh, this is just a kitchen. There's nobody... Nothing really interesting going on here. Um, we're gonna go up this ladder. We're gonna go talk to Nanaki and his grandpa. Uh, ooh, I didn't mean to go down. My bad. Do 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 do. All right, here we are. There. Oh, whoa! What did they do to Bugen? I don't remember him looking like that. Huh. Now, I've seen multiple uh, things that they've done with Bugen. Like, he, like the green thing under him is just actually his pants, and he just doesn't, ha he doesn't have any legs. But I've never seen it this way, like he's floating on a ball. This is my grandfather Bugen. He's incredible. He knows everything. Ho, ho, ho. I hear that you looked after Nanaki. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, Grandfather. I'm 48. Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. See, so you see, his 48 years would be only equivalent to, say, that of a 15 or 16-year-old. Wow, so he's actually pretty young then. Yeah, he acts like an adult. Don't worry, Nanaki. I'm sure you will. Yeah, it looks weird. It looks like he's floating on a ball. Cries of the planet. Save the planet, ho ho ho. I like I love how he goes ho 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 all the time. All right, so I gotta call some of the, uh, my friends over. Um, interesting. Okay, so. Now I gotta go find two people that I want, and I think, and I already know the two people that I want on my team when I look at this. This apparatus that uh, Nanaki was ta talking about. Excuse me, my goodness. I want both Barrett I want Barrett and I want Tifa. That's who I want on my team. When I'm looking at this apparatus thing. Because Barrett, I like having Barrett on my team during this moment because Barrett, you know, wanted to see Cosmo Canyon and he wants to learn all that he can about this place. So I like having him on my, on my team during this part. It, I don't know, it just feels right to me, sort of. I don't know. That's, maybe that's dumb. Doors unlocked, come in here. Alright, so he's talking about it here. Is that really just like a ball that you're floating on? Like, like it looks... I don't know if I like that model. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that model for the updated Final Fantasy. But, eh, I guess it's something I can get used to. Looks like he's floating on a giant green materia. <laughs> Is that the big, large, huge materia that Scarlet was talking about last episode? 
Yeah, see, I love this part. Just uh, Tifa's all like, wow. That's just like the real thing. Mm, yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Wow, it's pretty advanced technology you've got here. A shooting star. Yeah, see, I love this part right here. The scene. Oh, it does. Aw! Oh, they changed it! For the updated. I guess they couldn't fit the character on screen. See, in that moment, it was supposed to be Tifa, like, viewing Tifa standing there looking at the stuff floating by. That's kind of annoying. Well, I guess that's what you get for modding the game and changing up things. But yeah, I was supposed to zoom in on her face and she was supposed to be, like, super interested in seeing the shooting star fly by and then the, the rotating, you know, the planets with the orbiting moons and stuff float by. She's... It, I don't know, I liked that scene. Anyway... It is, it is something. Called the Life Stream. So this is the study of planet life. Things die, and their spirit energy roams the planet, and new life is born. As long as that spirit energy is not tampered with. And that's what keeps the planet going. So that would be very bad. And that is basically what... Yeah, these are the basics of the study of planet life, right. So, if spirit energy disappears, our planet will die. Spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. Thus, what Mako energy is. Yep. Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it, turning it into basically electricity, which is killing the planet. So that is the basics of the study of planet life. So there you go. Pretty cool. Words of the Elders. Huh. So there's a lot of elders in this place, too. Nanaki, his father, a coward? So that's it. Nanaki's been thinking that all this time. What, is there something else that Nanaki doesn't know about his father? Alright.
So we's we's gonna head down now. Actually, is are Barrett and Tifa still on the team? They are. Okay. So that means I can equip Barrett with. Uh, let's. Oh, I don't have another silver armlet. Uh, let's put this motor. Or what is it that I got? I had a grand glove. Tiger Fang. Let's equip the Tiger Fang on her. Um, it'll get rid of the double growth on her materia, but, you know, whatever. Um, so we got Revive Steel, all, and we can equip a new one on her now. Let's do Poison. Put Poison on her. There you go. Yeah, good. So right here is where we're supposed to go now. Alright, let's see what Yuffie says. What a boring place, just like I thought. I want to go somewhere. Let's go find some materia. Shut up, Yuffie. Here's Kate Sith. I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories. Let's talk to Aerith. I learned a lot. The elders taught me many things about the Cetra and the Promised Land. I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm... We're here for you, right? I don't know why Cloud said that. I know, I know, but I'm the only Cetra. That's true. Alright, well, I'm sorry that we can't help, Aerith. Hi now, Nikki. Nothing to say? What have you got to say, Barret? Cosmo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday that we'd sa when we saved the planet from the Shinra that we'd all call them to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Oh man, yeah, it feels only like yesterday that we were still at that part of the game. <sighs> They're all gone. Died for the planet. Good for you, Barrett. We need to destroy those. We need to save the planet, save the spirit energy, so that Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse's uh, spirits don't get used up and diminished in the Maker Reactors. Hey, Tifa, what have you got to say? Cloud, bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. Uh, yeah, what about five years ago? Huh? Afraid to ask. Yeah, what is it? Far away, but I'm right here. Of what kind of question is that, Tifa? Of course I am. Well, anyway, the last person to talk to right now is Nanaki. No, please continue, Nanaki. Tell me. Oh. Oh, hey, Bugenhagen. The G Tribe. Sure. Alright, so I'm thinking the best person to bring with me would probably be Tifa. I'll bring Tifa with me. Um, actually, hold on. I need to move Barrett over and remove his materia. Now I'll bring Tifa. Yeah, you can go, Tifa. Alright. Now that I've moved, done that, I can see 
he still has the magic comb, that's good. He has a carbon bangle. Um, I guess that'll be fine. Uh, we'll give him the talisman. Who? Hold on, what else does everybody else have? Star pendant? And power wrist. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Now let's equip him with some materia. We will put on... Uh, enemy skill, yes. We will put on restore and manipulate. Then we will put... Uh, earth, all, and ice. I believe that's all that we want. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, let's put ice here and earth there. There we go. That'll work. Okay, let's go. So he says it'll be dangerous, huh? There's Bugenhagen right there. I see him. up this way. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save here. And I'm going to bring this episode to a close. Yeah. So that'll be it for this episode. Uh, when we come back, we will follow Bugenhagen and see what he has to tell Nanaki about his father. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed watching, uh, please subscribe for more. Hit that like button. And uh, that's going to be all. So thank you again. This is Skid, and I'll see you guys next Final Fantasy weekend.